If you are a science graduate looking to study nursing in Australia, this video is for you. Hi friends, this is Jessin from Adilogix where we teach you logic behind things. Welcome to my channel where I put weekly videos about nursing, other courses that you can pursue in countries like Australia, Canada, USA. So before we begin our today's video, I would humbly request you to all subscribe to my channel and keep liking my videos that will help more and more people to reach to my channel and get more useful information like you are getting. So as you all are aware that nursing is one of the most sought after profession in Australia and nurses not only have huge respect in the society, but of course they make a very good money as well. Now, traditionally, if you are not an overseas registered nurse and if you want to start your nursing career in Australia, you'll have to do a bachelor's of nursing three year qualification to become a graduate nurse. But if you are a science graduate and you have done a degree such as in pharmacy, veterinary sciences, dentistry, etc. from your home country, you do not have to do the bachelor's of nursing three year program. Instead, you can do bachelor's of nursing graduate entry two year program and become a registered nurse in Australia. This program is open for all international students and you can apply for registration once you successfully pass this program with NMBA Nursing Midwifery Board of Australia. So let's see what are the entry requirements for this program. So the first one qualification as I explained to you in the beginning of the video you should have a science based degree. Also, this program is open for international nurses who hold a license in their home country but do not want to take the NCLEX and OSCE OBA pathway in Australia. The second one is basically about the English language proficiency and if you have been following my channel, you will know that registered nurses require IELTS 7 in each of the module PTE 65 or OET level B to enter into nursing qualification as well as at the time of their registration after they pass the nursing qualification. Okay, few universities may also consider if you have a diploma of nursing in your home country, you'll have to check with the individual university and it may happen that your duration is a little longer than the usual two year period. Arts and commerce graduates don't get disheartened. If you want to start your nursing career, I have done a detailed video about the courses that you can take if you want to take that pathway. You can check out the video by clicking on the I button here. Now let's talk about the intakes. So generally most of the universities have two to three intakes in a year for this program. And since there are limited seats for this program, you should try to apply at the earliest possible. It's all a game of demand and supply. The demand for this program is very high and the supply is definitely very limited. In terms of the study mode, this is a full time program and hence online study options are not available for this program. During your study, you can of course work part time jobs as per your visa conditions, which are generally 40 hours a fortnight. Now, in terms of clinical placement, you will be posted by the university in various clinical areas and you have to complete approximately 800 hours of clinical placement. So there are few universities who offer attractive scholarships for international students. So make sure you check this out with your individual university. Now comes the most important part. How much is the fees for this program? Now the fees may vary depending upon the university that you choose, but approximately it can cost you around $11,000 to $15,000 per semester to do this program. So that's all for today with the basic information about the graduate entry program. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions about this program or generally about nursing in Australia, make sure to connect with me. I will leave our contact details as well as our website address in the comment section and in the description box below. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share the content.